right. Welcome to another candidate conversation from 25 Women for 2020. We're with Laura Fred Smith again, and today we're going to talk a little more specifically about environmental issues. So, Laura, I want to ask you about environmental regulation. 25 Women for 2020 submitted a group letter uh, that included signers uh, uh, from our group of candidates as well as incumbents, uh, asking the Attorney General and IDEM to assure the public that they were not going to follow the federal uh, rollback of enforcement on environmental regulation. Tell us what you think about that and what we can do in Indiana to maintain a uh, healthy and clean environment. As an earth science teacher, when I look at the news and I see that I that the EPA is rolling back regulations, that does not make me feel that Indiana is going to be protected. Indiana is one of the is the fourth most polluted state. And I hope that IDEM takes that into consideration because we want to keep Indiana as healthy and strong as we can. Indiana is the home for 25 endangered species. Indiana has brown sites already, or brown fields. The Johnson County and Morgan County have high cancer clusters. Logansport, Indiana, and Cass County is fighting to keep an environmental polluter, a company that has a history of polluting the environment around it from coming into their county. Miami County, on the other hand, just got a new business that's going to bring 250 jobs in a clean facility to come to Indiana. So there are clean manufacturers out there. And as a state, we need to look to the future and we need to look to clean energy sources and clean economic businesses to come to our state. We want to protect our Hoosier forests, we want to protect our waterways, and we want to make sure that our families, our students, our children, and our parents are not going to be affected by environmental polluters. And the EPA is just making it easier for those things to come to our state. And we want healthy Hoosier families and we want to make sure that they stay as healthy as possible. Laura, it's so refreshing to know that you'll be a legislator that will make decisions based on data and science. Speaking of that, I get so frustrated when I hear people say that there's, it's either or choice, environment or the economy. What are your thoughts on being good stewards to our environment while building a diverse and thriving economy? I was a Girl Scout and my sons were Boy Scouts. And one of the things they taught us is leave the place cleaner than you found it. Indiana is the fourth most polluted state, but there are clean businesses out there. We have just down the road from my house in Cass County, in Miami County, we've got a clean business that just moved in. My husband works in Lafayette where the Subaru plant is. Subaru is a cleaner plant. They're one of the cleaner manufacturing plants. We have wind farms over in White County. There are places that can bring us clean energy. They can bring us clean business. Is. We do not need to choose between high economic profits and clean businesses in 2020. We can find clean manufacturers. There are places that we can ensure that we have clean water sources. We do not have to choose toxic environmental polluters over our health of our state. We can have clean water to kayak in or swim in. We don't have to choose polluting businesses. Thank you for that vital information. I know there's so much more you want to share with us. Where can people go to find out more information about Laura Fred Smith? My website is lfs4in18.com. And I'm also on Facebook at Laura for Senate. Excellent. And I know people want to get involved in your campaign now. What is the best email to reach you at? If anybody wants to reach me, they can reach me at laura 4 senate 18 at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today, Laura. Thank you for having me. Great. And I just want to do a big shout out again to ask people to make sure and get out and get registered to vote. Check your registration to make sure you're still registered and uh, get out and vote. So you can go to www.indianavoters.com to check your registration, register to vote, uh, request an absentee ballot, and find out where to vote. So please make a commitment to find people you know and make sure that they are all registered and that they all get out and vote. And ask them also to vote for Laura Fred Smith in Senate District 18. She's gonna make our, our state much better.
All right. Thank you for coming and we'll talk to everybody again soon.